we will now consider the position vector. The position vector will become important for any number of things. If we want to look at the position of a person, or perhaps a car driving down the road, or a rocket that's taking off into space. In all of these cases, we need to be able to describe the position. It's also true if we want to look at the motion of an object around another, for example, the Earth around the Sun. We need a way to consistently do this. What we'll do is we'll start in one dimension with a number line. And so for our number line, we'll have zero, we'll define it at some convenient point, and then we'll label it negative on the left, positive on the right, and in this case we'll use meters. So let's say that we wanted to look at the position of a person. So our person right now is standing at two meters on the number line. So we'll define our position vector. It will extend from zero to two meters. We'll call this D1, and it will have a length of two meters and a direction to the right. At some point, our person walks over to four meters. We can now define a new position vector because they've changed their position. This is going to be D2, and it is going to be four meters. It's also going to be positive. And we can look at the difference between those two positions. We call this the displacement, delta D, which is going to be just D2 minus D1. And so if we look at this, we have delta D equals D2 minus D1, which is 4 meters minus 2 meters, which means that they've walked 2 meters. And because it's positive, they've walked 2 meters to the right. Now our person gets bored and they walk 3 meter, or to the position 3 meters to the left. And so now we have D3 still based on 0. D3 is equal to 3 meters. However, if we want to look at the change in position, the displacement, we need to go from where they were to where they are now. So now we have delta D extends all the way from 4 meters over to negative 3 meters. And so again, if we do delta D, now it's D3 minus D2, and that's going to be negative 3 meters minus 4 meters, which gives us negative 7 meters as the displacement, 7 meters to the left. 